introduction of zones into the project window has revolutionized our workflow in terms of what we can do in the project window. But the introduction of the new lower zone has meant we can get instant access to really important editors, like Very Audio, for instance. So whatever we click on in the project window will bring up an editor in the lower zone. And that's so neat. You don't need to be changing in between windows. Now, here are a couple of quick tips with the lower zone. Firstly, you can link the lower zone to the project window. That may not sound like a big deal, but when you consider previously that you were using another window as an editor, it's groundbreaking because you've got access to the actual production itself and also access to the editor. We can change the way the page or the project scrolls. Page scroll will get to the end and then go on to the next portion or segment. Stationary cursor does exactly that. The project scrolls around the cursor. A neat feature is being able to suspend the scroll while editing. So you're going along and you think, okay, well that note just needs changing. So as soon as you click on it, the scroll is suspended. And over on the left hand side, you've got that orange indicator to tell you that it's suspended. And you can resume the scroll by clicking on the icon. You've always had the option to solo a part, but now it's even more prominent because once again, you can see where you are in the project. If you just notice something amiss very quickly, you can solo it and alter it or change it. We've got instant access to the controller lane or lanes, and of course you can define what you see there. And we can also turn on the info line and the overview line, which might be handy if you're working with something like you know, velocity or you know even a start and end point for an event. The lower zone's great for edits on the fly, but perhaps you've got a lot of MIDI events, in which case you can open up the key editor and close it and go back to the lower zone. The setup toolbar is really handy. We can custom define exactly what we want to see along the strip at the top of the lower zone. And we can also move it to the right or to the left. As I move the right divider up in the setup window, everything underneath it will move to the right hand side. And you can do the same with the left divider. Linking the lower zone to the project window before didn't link all of the controls. So for instance, I can turn the snap off in the lower zone, but it's still on up in the top project window. We can also change the quantize settings in the lower zone. And this is great because it means we can work down here in the lower zone. We can also change a few different view handles and assign different colors for different components of the events down in the lower zone. Just so there's no confusion with tools and key commands, when you click on a zone, you select that zone and key commands and the tools selected will be relevant for that zone. To get access to the next zone and the key commands and the tools for that zone, just click inside the area somewhere. And you've got one free click. When you click inside the event for the first time, it will simply select that zone. One of the best things about these new zones is that they're completely scalable. So if you need to get more access to an event or a controller lane, you just simply click on the divider and move it up or down. The lower zone also has horizontal and vertical zoom handles. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. If you've learned something from this video, please like it. You can also subscribe to our Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos on how you can be creative using Cubase. I'll catch you there.